The 2005 Sabrina Annual brings back so many happy memories and I thought today we'd do a quick flick through it. I'm not going to stop on every page in too much detail. This is more just to immortalise the book so that in years to come I can just jump on a video and have a quick, quick flick through it and bring back some happy memories. Um, this is not my original copy from when I was younger. I can't remember. I've had a quick flick through it, but not in any detail. I can't remember if anybody's done any of the crosswords, but we'll find out. We have our little introduction to Sabrina. It's worth pointing out that this is 2005. The show had ended by then. It ended in 2004. But of course, things were airing in the UK um, ever so slightly later. Pretty lovely poster. And we have a story here. Morgan and Salem. And then we have <laughs> a maze that somebody's already done. Uh, and a name quiz. I love that. I love that poster of Roxy Morgan and Sabrina. It's kind of a, it, it's so weird having a, I believe that's season three, Sabrina. And then we have season seven and it's just it's, it's slightly peculiar but i i rather like it and then we have more story more narrative it's so weird seeing morgan and roxy in the spellman household mythical creatures uh, with aunt hilda fairies gnomes mermaids gremlins dragons Unicorns, Giants, the Loch Ness Monster, Will the Wisp, and the Abominable Snowman. How to make a friendship bracelet, which actually looks pretty cool. I have no physical creative talents whatsoever, so I couldn't do that. Love that picture. And we have another story. Oh, look at Salem. Another strong contrast between season seven Sabrina and season two or three Sabrina. Season four, uh, season five rather. And questions about Sabrina. We have who's that? Can you work out who's behind each blob? Feel free to let me know in the comments if you want to let me know if you've worked them out. Uh, very Alice in Wonderland themed image. Some jokes with Aunt Hilda, very suitably with Aunt Hilda. Uh, I won't question what has stuck those pages together. But we have more. I love this episode. It's such a, a very well um, well performed episode, I think. Sabrina and Salem clowning around. <laughs> Clearly the original owner didn't um didn't get as far as this. Lovely poster of Roxy. And more narrative. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> okay. Should have probably pointed that out at the beginning. Poster of Morgan. What kind of friend are you? Just in case you want to take the quiz. There are the questions. Where do you start? I think you start, do you make friends easy? Easily. And there are the answers, just in case you want to do that. And then the... I love that. That's one of my favourite pictures of Hilda and Zelda. We have Harvey, of course. And turn the page. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Oh, absolutely adorable. Go. 
gun fishing. How to make, what am I making? A magnetic fish tank. That's pretty weird. Cheesy fish. It kind of sounds quite nice, actually. I'm slightly tempted. Then we have just easily the most heartbreaking moment in Sabrina. It's ab absolutely beautiful. That's adorable. Of course, Melissa's Melissa John Hart's sisters there playing the bridesmaids and Soleil Moon Fry and Elisa Donovan. And yeah, definitely spoilers in this for the last season. Just such an amazing, amazing, but look at it, look at the candle. I can't, I just can't get my head around that candle. I will never accept it. I will never accept it as the way things ended. But it's beautiful. What we have there. And if anybody's interested, there's the back, which is rather stunning. So many happy memories. Such a beautiful annual. Definitely one that makes me feel like a child again. I absolutely love it. 